Hi, I'm Dr. Abby Stevens, an astronomer in Michigan, and I research black holes. I focus on stellar black holes, which are formed in the supernova of a really big star at the end of its life. Black holes get their name because their gravity is so strong that not even light, which is the fastest thing in the universe, can escape, so they look black to us. But even though light can't escape from inside of them, we know where lots of them are, and we can study black holes and the effects they have in the space environments around them. I do this by looking at black holes that are orbiting around with a star friend, kind of like how the Earth and the Moon are gravitationally bound and orbiting around each other. The star and the black hole are close enough that the stuff from the very outer part of the star is more gravitationally attracted to the black hole than to its own star. So the black hole is like slowly draining its friend of its star stuff <laughs> because it's a bad friend. As the gas from the star falls towards the black hole, it swirls around and it forms a disk around the outside of the black hole. We call this an accretion disk. This disk gets super hot and shines really bright heat light in the x-rays. So for comparison, the human body is hot and we shine our heat light in the infrared, and the sun is hotter than us, it shines its heat light in the um, visible, and uh, these accretion disks are so, are so hot, even hotter than the sun, that their heat light is shining in the x-rays. I use extra telescopes to observe the x-ray light coming from the accretion disk to learn more about the black hole in the middle. We do this because these stellar black holes are too small and too far away to just take a picture and see what's happening around them. Thanks, see you later.